Evidence is mounting that the sanctions against Iran are having a crippling effect on that nation's economy, greatly decreasing its oil exports, making most international transactions all but impossible, and bringing on high inflation. Next week, Iranian officials will meet with the great powers in Baghdad to discuss the reason behind those sanctions, Iran's nuclear program. I am now joined by Iran's economic minister, Shamseddin Husseini. Thank you so much for joining us, Mr. Minister. Thank you very much. I am very grateful and appreciative to be here and have a conversation with you. So ever since President Obama signed uh, those sanctions in, uh, at the end of December, uh, the I Iranian rial has dropped more than 50 percent. You now face the prospect of an oil embargo from the European Union. Your central bank is, is not, no longer able to conduct international transactions. I, I, this must be very, very difficult for Iran. Uh, uh, well, I do believe that we must have a broader view of Iran's economy and only concentrating on a few sectors cannot be a true representation of Iran's economy. I'll give you a few examples. Last year, the total non-oil exports increased by 30 percent. And according to the latest reports that the International Monetary Fund has published, Iran's uh, GDP, Iran's per capita income, has uh, also increased. But, but let me ask you there, um, you, you, eighty percent of your of your foreign revenues uh, come from oil. Uh, you're telling me that th these these restrictions on uh, on oil, the, particularly if the European Union goes through with them, the Indians say they're buying less from you, the Japanese say they're buying less from you. you th these are not going to affect you. Eighty percent of your external revenues come from oil. We must pay close attention when we speak of oil revenues and sanctions against oil sales. Who are the winners and the losers of such sanctions? Indeed, it is difficult, but not just for Iran. And we can all rest assured that there will be a considerable increase in international oil market prices. Now, is this the best approach? Just to be clear, because this is very important, you think that if the European Union goes through with the, uh, the oil embargo, which is slated to go into effect in July, oil prices will go up very substantially? Certainly, certainly. Even the IMF says that as a result of these sanctions, Oil prices will perhaps reach and uh, hover around $160 per barrel. And the decrease in financial and economic output in Europe will truly be felt. How long can you endure these kind of sanctions? Uh, because they are affecting your banks, they are affecting now, the, uh, the Senate is passing ones relating to the oil, the tanker business. How long can you, can you withstand these sanctions? We have been the subject, the target of sanctions for the last 33 years. We never went looking for these sanctions. But during the last few years, of course, the volume of these sanctions have increased tremendously. And we believe that those who impose the sanctions have exerted the maximum level of pressure they have been capable of. But the reality that is showing itself today is that the capacities and the economic specialties and strengths of Iran are such that can cause a backlash, an economic backlash for the imposers of these sanctions and their countries. This really shows that the economy, the economic strength of Iran is in such a way that can withstand these sanctions and will not be the only economy to suffer. So, if, but if these sanctions do, ext do uh, cost you a lot, cost the average Iranian a lot, um, why not allow the IAE inspectors in 
say to them, you can go to every facility, including the ones that we have previously not allowed you to. We have nothing to hide. You can see all our nuclear programs and certify that it's peaceful. And once you get that certification, these sanctions will get lifted. We have said time and time again that we will not give up this unalienable right. We are a member, full signatory and abiding member of the IAEA. There are conversations and dialogues taking place currently, but there cannot be a hegemony and a double standard in the treatment of member countries such as Iran. If these principles can be understood and applied with mutual respect, I think we will be in a much better place. Final question. What will the price of oil be in August of this year? I believe that we must uh, at least in order to have uh, sustainable growth for the producers, maintain prices at uh, $100 per barrel. But keep in mind the following. Can the industrial powers get out of the current situation they're in with these prices? Therefore, the answer being obvious, the prices will go considerably higher than $100 per barrel. If we see reforms, tangible reforms in this behavior, we will be in a much better place. If we don't, we will witness an increase in international oil markets. Mr. Minister, pleasure to have you on. Up next, a